Traffic signs are different shapes and colors so that drivers can easily see them while traveling. By learning their meaning, you'll be able to know the rules and continue driving without too many distractions. There are six categories of signs that you will encounter. Regulatory signs, railroad crossing signs, warning signs, guide signs, construction signs, incident and temporary signs. Regulatory signs are easily identifiable by their black, white, and red markings, which can be in any combination of two or three of these colors. Regulatory signs remind drivers of specific rules, such as obligations and prohibitions that apply in a current traffic situations. It is very important that I scan the road for these signs. If I miss them, I could get a ticket, or even worse, cause an accident. Examples of regulatory signs include stop, yield, speed limit, do not enter, one way, no left and or right turn, and wrong way. Railroad crossing signs are a combination of warning and guide signs. They can alert drivers to a railroad crossing ahead. All railroad crossings should have a white and black crossbuck sign at the railroad crossing. Those that only have these white and black crossbuck signs at the railroad crossing with no other signage, lights, or bells can be the most dangerous since the sign is my only warning of a potential train crossing ahead. The sign also indicates that you need to yield, look, and listen for a train before crossing the tracks. If there were a train, you would need to stop and wait for it to pass before continuing. Some railroad crossings have red flashing lights, bells, and crossbars that block the traffic from crossing the tracks. If the flashing lights, bells, and crossbars are down, traffic cannot cross until the bar is raised and the lights and bells have been turned off. I never attempt to go around the crossbars or through the red lights, as it is extremely dangerous. I could receive a very expensive ticket as well. Warning signs are yellow signs with black markings, letting people know of potential hazards or changes to the route ahead. Examples of warning signs include advisory speed, school zone, deer crossing, divided highway ahead, lane ends, and curves in the road ahead. Note that when encountering an advisory speed limit sign, I must prepare to slow down to the suggested speed. Just because these are called advisory signs, it doesn't mean that I can ignore them. If I fail to slow down, I could find myself losing control of my vehicle along a sharp curve. Guide signs are most commonly colored green, blue, or brown. These give drivers valuable information on different routes they can take. Green signs tell how far you are from a destination, the names of streets, or how to get to different cities and towns. Blue signs tell you where you can find goods and services such as fuel, food, police, and hospitals. Brown signs lead you to historical and recreational areas. Finally, if you really have to go, a guide sign can tell you how long you have until you reach the next rest area. Construction signs are bright orange and are there to alert you of construction on the roadway. It's important that I slow down when I see these signs, as injuring a worker or getting a speeding ticket in a construction zone could increase the penalties I receive. Incident and temporary signs are similar to construction signs. These signs are fluorescent pink signs which indicate to drivers that a dangerous situation is taking place on the road ahead. Incident and temporary signs are used to warn of natural disasters, accidents, and temporary road closures. Temporary signs are usually positioned on a tripod and are not a permanent road fixture. Use extreme caution when driving through these areas because conditions could change rapidly.